Oh, hello, friends. It's Rella B. It's Rella B. Are you ready to come and read with me? Well, first we have to get our brains and our bodies ready. So let's go ahead and go outside for some stretching. Hi, friends. It's Rella B. Are you ready for story time with me? Well, you know, before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and get our bodies and our brains ready. So let's go ahead and start getting our bodies ready. Are you ready? Okay, so first, we are going to march in place. Get your marching position. Let's march, 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 march. We'll march, 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 march. Let's do it for another 10 seconds, okay? We're gonna count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're getting our legs ready. Now let's go ahead and we're going to squat, okay? So put your legs shoulder width apart and we're gonna squat up and down, squat up and down, squat up and down, squat up and down. Let's do ten. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now let's get our arms ready. Let's stretch them out. Reach across your body and pull. Stretch your shoulder, other arm, pull. Stretch your shoulder. Okay, let's bend down and touch our toes. Bend down, touch, touch, touch our toes. Touch, touch, touch. All right. Can we bend down and squat like a chair? Whoa, how long can you hold that? I can feel the burning and tingling in my legs. Let's try to hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. All right, give yourself a big hug. Big hug. All right, guys, let's go back inside to get ready for the story time. All right, you know what time it is. It's time for Rella's Riddle. If you're new here, go ahead and take a minute to hit that like and subscribe button, but I'm gonna let you know how it works. We're gonna have three hints, and then you're gonna have 10 seconds to guess. Are you ready? Okay, hint number one. I normally migrate from place to place and I travel in a flock. Hint number two, I am an animal and I have feathers. Hint number three, not only do I have feathers, but I also have a beak and talons. Do you know what I am? Here's a clue. All right, if you guessed a bird, then you would be correct. And the reason our riddle was a bird today is because we're gonna be reading an awesome story about a bird. But before we get into the story, let's find out a couple different ways to say bird. If you wanted to sign bird in American Sign Language, you would go like this. Isn't that awesome? And if you wanted to say bird in Spanish, you would say pajaro, pajaro. Isn't that so cool? So let's go ahead and hop into the story time. All right, we're ready for the story time and we're gonna be reading Flight Lessons by Eleonora Romaniello and illustrated by Katarina Giorgi. Look at that cute cover with the little bird. Okay, this is Flight Lessons. It was winter and the bright snow was falling lightly on the trees. The forest was beginning to turn white and Mother Robin started to build a nest for her little ones on a large pointed fir. The nest had a perfect circular shape and Mother Robin was very pleased with her work. She created a warm, cozy place. With the arrival of spring, the snow began to melt, leaving room for fragrant flowers and Mother Robin was ready to lay her eggs. After some time, the first egg began to open. Crack, crack. Here comes the first fledgling. Chirped the little bird. 
Father Robin immediately went to search for food while Mother Robin patiently waited for the other eggs to hatch. Soon after, three beautiful birds peeped out of the small nest. The other animals of the forest had come to witness the event. Squirrels, hares, fawns, even the porcupine had come out of his den to meet the new arrivals. Welcome! The little animals shouted in chorus. What are your names? They asked happily. Mother, Father, and Robin hadn't thought of names yet. But after a while, they replied, Lily, Louis, and Leo. Two weeks passed, and the three little birds were ready to fly. Mother and Father Robin began to give their first lessons. Chest out, beak up. Now spread your wings, bend your little legs, then leap and flap your wings up, down, up, down. See? Very easy. Lily and Leo began practicing, and with courage. They leaped off the high branch where their nest was. They twirled and flew away as if they've always known how to fly. They twirled in the air, zigzagging among the trees and soaring above the firs to enjoy the fresh air and breathtaking view of the mountains. Then they swooped down and skimmed the clear streams of mountain water with their chests. Mother and Father Robin were enthusiastically admiring them from the nest, but suddenly they turned to Luis, who had remained stationary on the branch. What's going on, my dear? asked Mother Robin. I'm so scared. I can't do it, whimpered poor Luis. Father Robin slowly approached and said, You don't need to be afraid. It's natural for us to fly. Do you see your wings? They're made especially for this. The little one tried to gather courage, took a run, spread his wings, and jumped down, closing his eyes. But alas, fear took over and Luis fell down, luckily landing on a pile of leaves at the base of the tree. I will never try again, shouted Luis, full of anger. Mother and Father Robin felt sorry for him and carried him back to the nest. As the days passed, the sun shone brightly in the sky and it was time for the Robin family to leave. However, they could not depart until Luis overcame his fear. Mother Robin then approached him and said, Your fear is stopping you from spreading your wings, but the world beyond the woods is beautiful. You have nothing to be afraid of. We are here for you. After his first flight experience, little Luis had told himself that he would never try again. But he would have loved to see the high mountains beyond the trees and bathe in the streams just like his siblings. So he mustered up the courage and slowly walked up to the branch from which he had fallen the first time and began to think of all of the amazing things Lily and Leo had told him. As Luis attempted to focus on the instructions of his mother and father, the animals of the forest had gathered again to witness. Come on, Luis, you can do it! They cheered in chorus. Taking a deep breath, he opened his wings and made a giant leap from the branch. This time, he had to make it. He closed his eyes tightly, and when he opened them again, his wings had begun to move up and down, just like Father Robin taught him. Everybody began clapping and shouting with joy. Luis could not believe his eyes. The view beyond the nest was stunning. Lily and Leo flew toward him and all three began playfully circling each other in the air while mother and father Robin watched proudly. Now that he had finally overcome his fears, the Robin family was ready to leave the nest and fly towards new fantastic adventures. Then saying goodbye to their friends, they began their journey. The end. Wow, that was such an amazing story, right? The little bird was afraid to fly, even though that's something that's perfectly natural for him to do. I know sometimes I'm afraid to try new things like rollerblading or ice skating or maybe riding a bike. Have you ever been afraid of trying something, but then after you did it a couple times, you got the hang of it and then you realize this isn't so hard after all. It just takes a little practice, right? That's awesome. You know what time it is. It's time to find out our co-creators. 
Show us co-creators in the app. Tell me, tell me, tap, tap, tap. Hello, smartphone, tell us today. Did all our friends have fun and play? I hear my friends, Max, Mark, Tom, Carla, and Ryan had fun today. Won't you join us another day? Thank you so much for tuning in to Reading with Rella B. Definitely make sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. If you're interested in purchasing the book, you can check it out in the description. I'll have the link. And if you would like to become a co-creator, you can check out RellaBeeBooks.com and click on the Want to Participate tab. Thanks so much for joining us. Toodles!